I think the most important thing that happened in the very, very beginning, we decided that it was okay if we failed. And we mm -hmm. didn't mind, we were, we just thought, we don't know what we're doing. We have no idea how we're going to put this together. The whole process, the process of how you design something is, this process was so, we understood how it takes certain steps that have to keep changing things over and over and over again. And the fact that we <laughs> said, it's okay to fail. We know that. And we're still in that, in that mode. Yeah. The, the problem is that it gets more and more complex as we get toward the end. And then it's a little harder to take risks. It's like, is this really going to work? We want this to work so much. In the beginning, it was like, we had the general parameters. Yeah, but we, but we just thought we, we could change it. And we did. We changed it a lot. A lot. find is as we're trying to integrate this thing we're you know figuring out okay well is this bulge too big or do we like do we like the way the sweep of this curve is or and we look at it objectively together and then make changes and that's what's so exciting yeah. we are always we practically finish each other's thoughts and sentences and but it's nice because we're working each really individually but then we come together and look at it yeah. together it's wonderful. It's one, of, it's one of the most exciting things I've ever done in my whole life, I can tell you. And we're having, we're having so much fun. What have I learned from collaborating with my mother? I've learned that we were both grown up and we, <laughs> whatever our relationship with this was in the past, it's, that's not what it is now. We're two mature artists respecting each other's process. We have different approaches. You know, we have a different way of thinking, and that. Um, but we're enjoying that about each other, actually. And when we brainstormed the original idea, originally we thought we were going to have two separate pieces that were sort of talking to each other, but we brainstormed uh, using words and images and emotions, and then we came up with this idea. But we still, when we started, we weren't sure how it was going to be. What we're looking at now is really not finished. I mean, there's still many areas which we have to... Um, Resolve, and each time we do one, put something in one area, it changes. We have to think about the total design again. Right. So about the heads, there. We started out not knowing who they were, and as Mom started making them, they started turning into people, or at least like we would wonder who are they? What do they mean to us? So they're somewhat ancestors, somewhat family members, maybe friends, maybe just ideas of, of family and people. That sounds good. Yeah. But not necessarily, you wouldn't say, oh, that's so-and-so, because it isn't. But it might be reminiscent of somebody in the past in our lives, right. or somebody right now. Except for Steve. This, per <laughs> this person came out. Mom made it, and I said, oh my god, that looks like Steve. So I, I really t tried to turn it into Steve. Um, so that's the Who only is one. Who's Steve? Steve, my late husband, Steve. Uh, and I made him have a Indian, or excuse me, Native American headdress, because he used to love the Plains Indians when he was a little boy. Yeah. So there are little secrets that are in here. So this, is, this might be... David, Lauren, and Josie. Yeah, maybe. But we don't want it to be specific because that kind of yeah. it isn't. I don't want. I don't want people to say, "Oh, that doesn't look like somebody." Well, I don't expect it to look like somebody, but I don't want anybody to say, "Oh, that's a bad portrait" or something because it's. I'm not trying to make it a real portrait. So, so the way we think about it is when we when we're thinking, okay, where does something go? We'll sort of we'll start holding it up 
and saying, well, where does it go? And at this point, I think, I don't think it's ready. There's ready. It's ready. We want more space. Right there. Yeah. It could, yeah, this would be good. But yeah, I, I think, think it has to. It should be up higher. Right. Yeah. So this is the way we think. I mean, we're not, we didn't rehearse this right now, but this is how we think. We say. Right. If it'll be too crowded if it's too low. And we have, that's the, that's the part that we have that's the same, our sense of design. Yes, is, that's very important. Is similar. Yeah, um, and that's why I think we do agree most of the time. But we disagree sometimes, but mostly we agree because we do have the same sense of design. And I guess design is design. It's universal. I've never thought about it quite like that, but I guess it's, um, it's true. Well, people could do it differently. I mean, it, it, just, it, we would, it would be a different thing if it was all crowded. If, yeah. if there were too many... See, the, our first... Um, principle in a way is to to be able to really see both of our work at the same time. So if there were too many heads, then it covers this up. If there's not enough heads, then it's exactly. So we so, want a balance of heads and body. Right. So this is a new head that I'm starting, and I'm. It may be my husband, your grandfather but I'm not quite sure, but we were needing, we felt we needed another single head. So that's kind of, so Ellen and I decide what's, you know, what's next, or I think of something. This isn't what I want yet, but it's in process. Japanese technique of coiling that I learned from my teacher, Malcolm Wright. And then there's something called Padlet. I was telling mom this is, I learned this like the first thing I learned, one of the first techniques I ever learned in clay was coiling and paddling. And here I am using it, huh. still. <laughs> See, I, the question is when do we stop? How tall do we get? We're and, gonna get taller. And how many, how many more faces to add? I don't know, we'll have to decide. We'll know when it's ready. We'll know when we've hit the top. I hope so. Okay. I have complete faith in us. <laughs> I have faith in us too. 